Here I am in Worcester, standing beside yet another sewage works. This, what you can see behind me, is what's generically referred to as treated sewage. Coming out of the local sewage works, I can assure you there is nothing treated about any of it. It still contains any number of bugs, nasties and things you do not want to get involved with. Over the last year, 75% of all of the sewage dumped into this section of the River Seven came from right here, from Worcester Sewage Works. We're about to test for nitrate. Nitrate is a nutrient, it's a food source. At certain levels, it's okay. Excessive levels, it will help slowly poison and kill a river. Anything above a five is bad news. This is our little scale. This is what we've just sampled. As you can see by my measurement, it's well over 10, not quite 20, but certainly well over 10. And let me remind you all, anything over five is bad. It's seen as excessive. On nitrate, the River Seven here at Worcester fails the test. Now we're moving on to the phosphate test. Phosphate is prevalent throughout all of our lives. And in certain levels, it's not a bad thing. You'll find phosphate in your hair shampoo, in the detergent you use to wash your clothes in, in that little tablet you put in your dishwasher, you'll find phosphate because we use it as water softener. We use it to make things foamy and look nice. And oh, by the way, every time you flush the loo, you've just passed a lot of phosphate and sent it all off to the sewage works. This is when it starts getting difficult. Phosphate is yet another food source, another nutrient, and something else that is poisoning every single river in the country. So we now know that even according to the Environment Agency, which I don't agree with, but I'll go along with it, anything over 0.3 parts per million is bad. This has just given me a rating of 1.86, six times above the threshold recognised by the Environment Agency, Yet another river being poisoned by the water industry by not stripping out the phosphate. Yet again, another ecosystem destroyed. Yet again, the River Seven at Worcester fails for the phosphate test. Yet again, as a nation, we should be dying with embarrassment. We should be preserving these rivers, not allowing them to be slowly killed off. This bit of river should be absolutely teeming with wildlife, with weed, with fish, with birds, with egrets, kingfishers, shoals of fish, in fact, on occasion, salmon, swimming up and heading over that weir. There's nothing, it's dead. There's no sign of any life whatsoever, apart from one very lonely, very lonely, lonely, lonely swan, who even now is making a run for it, even it's had enough and is heading off towards Bristol. The local water company, Seven Trent Water, covers not only from Gloucester, but all the way through the West Midlands, up into Nottingham, and a huge swathe of the country. And in fact, last year alone, spent over 440,000 hours dumping sewage into local rivers. In fact, earlier this year, had been fined £2 million for illegal dumping sewage. Not that that matters, because they were fined another million pounds the year before that, and on and on and on. Quite frankly, in my opinion, these companies are out of control. The regulator has failed, and I can think of no better example. The chief executive of Seven Trent, Liv Garfield, has been in charge of that company for 10 years, and according to the Financial Times, has been paid the grand sum of 27.7 million pounds in salary and bonuses. Now the third test we're doing today is to test for ammonia and there's a reason we're doing that at a sewage works. The reason for that, the source of it, if I'll be discreet with LBC's listeners at this time of the morning, shall we just say the primary source is number ones and number twos, if that's delicate of me to an adult audience. Now the truth is, anything above a rating of 0.3, it gets toxic. It starts building up in the body and in cases if it gets big enough, particularly with fish, it can be lethal. We've currently got a rating of 0.62, twice the threshold that the EA recognise is becoming dangerous, becoming toxic. This now, fish, the invertebrates, the wildlife in this river have no escape from it. It is now at lethal levels 
to wildlife living in this river. Yet another reason this river is dying. We've had three tests here in the River Seven. River Seven at Worcester fails all three. Big cross, big X against Seven Trent, against the Environment Agency, against off what fail all round. If you're a customer, one of those millions and millions of people that are customers of Seven Trent, 11%. Over one-tenth of your water bill is actually going to help pay for the £6.9 billion pounds worth of debt that this company's in. And that in itself is also helping to pay for the £8.9 billion pounds worth of dividends they paid out. And indeed, the quite extraordinary £27.7 million pounds worth of salary and bonuses the chief executive has earned in the last 10 years. It's an abject lesson. It's a testimony. It's a monument. It pays to pollute. Fogel Sharkey reporting, and although this is early on, of course, this is now the worst river in the whole of the country. Just to remind you, as uh, Fogel took us through the results. So in uh, ammonia, which is what we're looking for, I appreciate this is breakfast time, but that's where you're going to find human feces and urine. You would The upper limit would be 0 0.3 points per million. It's 0 0.62. That's double and a big fail. Phosphates, that's where it causes algae, which can be toxic for humans, lethal for animals. That's where you're looking at 0 0.3. That was 1.86 as Fergal spelled out, six times what it should be. Nitrates, uh, that is pollution in the river. It affects your red blood cells. That they'd want to come in. Anything above five points per million is excessive. The seven is 20 points per million. And lastly, E. coli, which I don't need to tell you, di diarrhoea, stomach cramps, whatever. Anything above 900 in this measure is worrying. Get this, 48,900. So anything above 900, you're going to have a bad stomach. 48,900. Seven Trent Water say one-off tests like this can be misleading with the risk of wrong conclusions being drawn and then fail to expand on that. So I'm not going to bother to read any more of that. An environment agency spokesman says we are working with the River Seven people head on. Both those companies are welcome to come on the show anytime you like. If you don't work these sort of hours, I'll come and interview you anytime you like, whatever time of day you like. Well, maybe I can get to sleep at midnight. But the open invitation is there. We'll come to you. We'll do it any time working day that you choose.